is on the air. Hilarious highlights from and about the picture, A Day at the Races. <laughs> Music. Romance. I'm crazy about you. And I love you so, sweetheart. Comedy. Henry, who was that lady I seen you with last night? Brother, that wasn't no lady. That was my wife. Time. Mark the on. <laughs> Time. Mark the dawn with the Marx Brothers. Groucho. Pico. Harpo. And a courteous bow to the producers of the famous radio feature, the Marx of Time. Into the news swim last week with a resounding splash, up one Hugo Z. Hackenbush, all town quack, who recently nabbed the number one medical chair of the famed Standish Sanitarium. Hackenbush's triumph in plucking this juicy professional plum brought forth not for a mixed chorus of boos and cheers, said the anti Hackenbush faction. Boos! Said the pro Hackenbush element. Hooray! Woody! Unmindful of the hubbub, clever, perk, cute, Hugo Z. Hackenbush. Last week in his spacious offices, bravely defended himself against vicious verbal attacks by medical menies. Tell me, Dr. Hackenbush, just what was your medical background? Medically? Yes. Well, uh, at the age of 15, I got a job in a drugstore filling prescriptions. Don't you have to be 21 to fill prescriptions? Well, uh, that's for grown-ups. I just fill them for children. No, no, Doctor. I mean, where did you get your experience as a physician? Well, uh, to begin with, I took four years at Vassar. Nothing, but that's a girls' college. I found that out the third year. I'd have been there yet, but I went out for the swimming team. The doctor seems reluctant to discuss his medical experiences. Well, uh, medically, my experiences have been most unexciting. Except during the flu epidemic. Ah, and what happened? I got the flu. Time. Mark the dawn. <laughs> Hollywood is the manufacturing center of the nation's music, is a fact which can no longer be denied. The birth of radio broke the back of the phonograph record industry, then the chief revenue source, the Sharps and Flat Brigade. When Hollywood found its voice, it set the cue for the first strains of the swan song of Tin Can Alley. Songwriters suddenly awakened to one cold fact. Go Hollywood or go broke. Go over the Rockies to California or over the hill to the poorhouse. So to the music-making motion picture mecca, marched the Doremi Fa Sola Tito boy. The Gershwins, the Whitemans, the Berlins, the Porters, to turn out such hit musicals as Born to Dance, The Great Siegfeld, and Broadway Melody. Hollywood now supplies America with 90% of the total volume of song hits. No secret is the fact that funny man Harpo Marx has never in his celebrated stage and screen career uttered a solitary word for public consumption. Nary a syllable has he spake. Proof indeed that silence indeed is indeed golden. Last week, however, came the millennium. As Harpo broke a tradition of years and agreed to speak over the radio, a thrilled audience sat tense and nervous as Harpo and his interviewer approached the microphone in the studios of XKVYRBTD. In the control room, a red light flashed. History in the making. Harpo on the air. Mr. Marks, this is a great occasion for me. Never in your career have you uttered one word from stage or screen. And just think now, I, who all the boys used to call Stinky, am to be the first person to interview you. First, I'd like you to tell our great unseen audience something about your new picture, A Day at the Races. We're waiting, Mr. Marks. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Marks. Thank you, Mr. Interviewer. And as Harpo Marks is out, time. 
XKBYRVTD buttonholes and for opinions of musical pictures. Good evening, ma'am. Would you mind telling us in a few words what you thought of a day at the races? Yo creo que la película de los hermanos Marx, Un día en las carreras, es la más cómica que he tenido el gusto de ver. Hmm, very interesting, I hope. And you, sir, may we have your opinion? Je crois que le film, un jour au course, est le plus drôle que j'ai jamais vu. <laughs> quite true, quite true. And the young lady with the little dog, will you say a few words about the picture? <laughs> okay, lady, okay, no offense, man. Ah, here's my old friend, Mr. Christopoulos Papadopoulos. How about a little statement for it, Pop? I thought it was magnificent entertainment. Beautifully conceived, handsomely produced, intelligently presented, and fairly sparkling with the most effective comedy since the last election. In my opinion, if anything is better than a night at the opera, it is Groucho... Chico, Harpo, Alan Jones, and Marino Sullivan in a day at the races. Thank you, Mr. Papadopoulos. Time. Mark is on. Of the teeth of the producers of the justly famous March of Time, you have heard the Marx Brothers, Groucho, Chico, Harpo, and the music of the Metro Golden Mayor Orchestra under the direction of Franz Watson. And the blue and the in the water together. Well, happy, happy, happy. Daddy, a tiny fruit, the ice cream. I got a message from the man of the boat for you. Just you. Time. Ox is on. If you can face the setting sun and sun, 